Isn't that obnoxious? Anyway, I think you've seen this before. Coffee can guitar. Yup, guess what? It's fair time. Now, every year I enter uh, something like this in a county fair. County fairs are quickly becoming a thing of the past. They used to be a way uh, for people who are farmers and homemakers and people who are making clothes and any number of things or uh, farming and things like that to show how good they were at something. It was a get together for the community, the farming community, the rural community, and then people would uh, compete for prizes. So they're quickly disappearing. Now, I like putting things in a fair because um, it's a good way to show off your product and it's kind of a judge of how you do. If you win a ribbon, it's really good. Uh, the funny part about it is, is you'll put all kinds of money into building something for a fair and then the top prize might be something like six dollars second place three dollars and third place two dollars but hey it's about the ribbon so anyway i usually have pretty good luck at the fair and i'm going to show you a couple of uh, tricks that i use mainly about how to display things because the category i enter in is recycled things so i take old wood old matchbooks piece of rope a coffee can and make something out of it now there's uh, everybody knows that the trick to winning ribbons at the fair is more so about how something looks rather than tastes or functions. So nothing worse than taking something like this that looks homemade uh, and rustic and putting it on a brand new guitar stand. So uh, this video is about how to put something in a fair and display it in a way that's most likely to increase the likelihood that you'll win a ribbon so let's hit the bench okay so what i'm going to want to do is i'm going to want to show this off in a way where it captures uh, everything i can show um the neck the the headstock um, the sides of the can or whatever um and i want to make sure that it's safe so it can stand up like this and uh, be seen by people walking around it so um, I'm going to use this piece of wood here to make my stand. Now this piece of wood has an interesting story. I salvaged it off of a drilling rig that was in Beverly Hills. There was an old standard derrick from the late 30s, early 40s uh, there. Uh, and it had uh, pieces of wood like this bolted um on the derrick so i got a piece of this and i am going to make the stand for the guitar out of this what the idea is is i will take this square piece uh, the tail piece and where this hole is i'm going to uh, open this up so it sits down in here a bit and that'll have have it standing up there we can see better. So I'm going to mark this out like so. And then I'm going to take a chisel and chisel this out. And this is, you know, crude work, but I've got a couple of little gouges and things here. And I'm going to work that out again where this sits down in here. Then back here where the back of the can is like so. I am going to take one of the thumb screw setups off of one of these necks here and take this out of here. And then I'm going to drill a hole and mount this where when this sits in this piece of wood, I'll put it right at the edge and then I can thumb screw that down and it will stand up straight and hold itself. Now I'm going to take a Forstner bit and put a hole right here and take a piece of wooden dowel and mount it here so I can use an old shotgun shell and make a slide and, and the slide will be held by this 
And so what I'm after here is I'm entering the recycled uh, category. So I'm everything about this is going to be recycled. This piece of wood, uh, this. And so that really helps you get points towards uh, winning the ribbon. Having a new guitar stand or a new guitar strap really doesn't help you. All right, there we go. I've carved this out with a chisel. Uh, took a little bit of a drill bit and, and worked this out. Uh, put this piece of dowel in here by taking a Forstner bit and drilling that out. That just sits in there where this sits like so. And then I've taken this thumb screw here and put it, drilled the hole, uh, put the post for it there. And now I can just take my guitar, drop it in there. This rides here. And I put that down like so. And voila, it stands up nice and straight. Okay, there it is. Um, I put a strap on here made out of rope and hooked it into that little uh, eye bolt there. There's our volume controls in the can. There's our thumb screw. There we go. You can see it all the way around. So we'll see how that does. Okay, I wanted to show you this real quick too. I've done this one in the past and it did really well. It won first place in its category. But anyway, um, this is my typical Camacho cigar box a guitar. Um, it has the pin and jacks here and so what I did with this block of wood here is it wanted to split so I run bolts all the way through you can see that and then I just chiseled it out for uh, the tail piece and then I drilled Forstner bit I took a Forstner bit and drilled these holes so the jack plugins would just drop right down there it sits like that and it's got it's a piece of pipe for the slide. Okay, in these county fairs, they have rules about things. And one of the rules about the handicraft uh, section, the recycled materials category, is you need to have a picture of uh, the item before you start working on it. So I uh, took a picture. I sized it using a computer program. You can see how I do this kind of stuff on that episode called graphics. I laminated it and then I use this paper cutter. I love this paper cutter. I use it all the time for graphics. And now I've sized this where it will sit right there. And bingo, I've got exactly what I need. Okay, one last trick. You ever hear that saying, they'd complain if you hung them with a new rope? Well, I'm afraid this rope looks a little new. So remember our coffee stain? Yeah, I'm going to put a little bit of that in here. And uh, we're going to throw our new rope in there and let it soak this up. So it looks like a little bit more used than it is. And we'll let that soak. And that'll be our guitar strap. all right my coffee can guitar is down at the fairgrounds which leaves me to deal with separation anxiety and ocd about whether i won or not so i'm going to have to 
put my mind somewhere else for the time being. Now, before I forget, I always give you guys great tips. Do you know about Cathead Records in Clarksdale, Mississippi? Cla Cathead Records, Clarksdale, Mississippi. I'm going to give you a link below. You check that out. You're going to be glad you did. Speaking of links, I've got subscribe in the middle here in a second and playlist popping up. There might be something there you like. I appreciate your support of my channel and I'll be sure to let you know how my coffee can guitar did at the Antelope Valley Fair. See you next time.